Welcome back my YouTube friends and family. This is Lindsay and I am back with more daily work from home job leads for you. Today's video has quite a few job leads. I think I have seven different jobs to share with you and we have some well-known companies like U-Haul, Red Robin, The Restaurant, Zillow, and more. So as always, if you need links to get to any of the pages that I'm sharing or you need timestamps, all additional information you may need is always in the YouTube description box below this video. And I do just wanna say that if you're new here, welcome. This channel searches the internet daily, normally Monday through Friday for the best remote work from home jobs that are hiring right now. And we share them with you on a daily basis. Please note though that I don't work for any of these companies. I'm simply sharing what I find online trying to help you dig through all of the scams and find just the best work from home jobs that are out there. So I cannot control how long these companies leave these jobs up and how many applications they actually accept before they take down the job posting and start calling people in for interviews. But I do post fresh jobs daily. So if you don't wanna miss out, make sure you're subscribed, have those notifications turned on. But without wasting any more time, first up we have U-Haul hiring. U-Haul has 3,700 reviews on Glassdoor from past and current employees. They do have an overall employee satisfaction rating of 3.2 out of five stars. They are looking for an eLive verification phone agent. Now, please note this is going to be a part time position, but they're basically looking for phone agents to work with customers who opt to rent U Haul using their Truck Share 24 7 program. So, customers process their rentals, and U Haul is dispatched through the U Haul app and their smartphone. So, live verification agents are just reviewing that customer's information and responsible for making sure that everything meets the standard requirements before you either approve the rental and dispatch the actual U-Haul rental truck. Pay for this position is going to be $16 an hour. They do have multiple different shifts. Now you are going to have to work in the Arizona time zone. So if you're outside of that time zone, you'll have to convert your hours to see if that works for you but they are looking for people who have one year of customer service experience, somebody who is tech savvy, has great communication and customer service skills. You've got good like listening skills, very attentive, that great attention to detail, and you're like a people person. You can be very personable with the person. Now, please note for this position, your computer is gonna have to meet certain specs. You will have to have your own computer, and you're gonna have to pull up the specs of your computer and take a screenshot of that and send it in with the, your application. So just know that going in. If U-Haul isn't for you though, that's okay. Next up we have the company Clipboard Health hiring. Clipboard Health has 692 reviews on Glassdoor with an overall employee satisfaction rating of 3.8 out of 5 stars. They're looking for a customer support team leader. So this is going to be like the lead of the customer support team. So you're basically going to closely monitor the customer support team and the agents on that, monitoring their performance in terms of quality, productivity, and attendance, making sure that all of the primary goals of the team are being met. You're gonna provide that feedback and coaching to agents based on your scores that you're going to be giving them. So you're gonna be monitoring monitoring their quality so you'll have to like listen to some of their phone calls and score them on a grading rubric and of course give them that feedback you'll get customer service survey responses you know like when you're at the end of a phone call with customer service they tell you to hang on to take some kind of survey or they'll email you a survey after you'll get those responses and you'll kind of give the feedback to the reps from those responses just maintaining all of documentation on your customer service reps, coaching logs, things like that. You're going to just listen to member feedback and resolve any issues or conflicts that come up. Now, as far as must-haves, they're looking for somebody who has a previous like coaching experience. So if you've been a team lead before or you've been like in a leadership position before where you've kind of coached, gave people feedback, helped other people. And of course, you've got to have previous customer service experience. Now, please note, sadly, with this one, they did not list pay. That will need to be discussed with them at the time of the interview. 
If you're looking for a high paying job that does not require any kind of a college degree, this next one might be for you. The company is Spring Health. They have 281 reviews on Glassdoor, an overall employee satisfaction rating of 3.1 out of five stars. They are looking for a provider success associate. So just as the name mentions Spring Health, this is going to be a healthcare company. So no going in, you're going to have to follow like all the HIPAA rules, regulations, and guidelines. Spring Health specifically is dealing in the mental health space for employers and health plans. So like health plans being insurance companies. And so they are looking for somebody to be responsible for providing outstanding customer support to their providers or doctors that are using that are signing up to be part of their mental health network through email, phone, and video. So you're going to manage the incoming provider support questions and requests for assistance from the doctors or providers coming in. You'll just analyze and troubleshoot any technical issues reported by the providers, just driving that continuous improvement for the provider support by using processes, tools, and communication systems that you have. You'll also be drafting and sending communications to the provider network and specific provider populations as instructed by leadership. So a lot of times what these networks do is they join providers in different areas to be a part of a network. And then people who have a certain insurance programs or certain benefit packages have access to all of these doctors throughout this entire network. And so you're just supporting that entire network of doctors. Best part about this job, no college degree is needed. They're just looking for somebody who either has two years experience in customer service or queue based support roles. So if you've ever worked like tickets or something like that out of a work queue, but otherwise it doesn't say two years of experience in a call center. It says customer service experience. So please remember customer service experience can be anything that you've done to serve a customer. So like waiting tables in a restaurant, being a cashier or working in like department stores, things like that. They are looking for somebody who has project management skills, can be thoughtful, curious, and be a problem solver. You've got to demonstrate humility because you are dealing with providers and mental health issues. So some of the the subjects that you might come across might be a little bit of a touchy subject. Of course, you've got to have great analytical skills trying to find those trends in that reporting. But pay for this position is a very good. It starts out on the low end at $32.05 an hour and can go up to $39.62 an hour. Now, next up, we have Red Robin, the restaurant hiring. They have 4,300 reviews on Glassdoor with an overall employee satisfaction rating of 3.3 out of 5 stars. They are looking for a remote people advisor. So a people advisor is like in the human resources field. I have another job in this video that is dealing with human resources a lot. So just know if you don't have the skills right now to apply for these human resources type jobs, there are a lot of human resources jobs that are remote work from home. So if you're trying to get into a career field where you wanna work from home and never have to go back into the office, I always say human resources resources, healthcare, or customer service is kind of the big three of where it's at. So just know, you know, maybe you want to start gaining the skills to move into a human resources type field. But Red Robin is looking for somebody to be responsible for completing investigations on policy infractions of their team members, team member misconduct and complaints and concerns. So you'll be talking to these employees and conducting interviews of the team members who bring forward concerns, complaints. If you've ever worked for a place, most places have human resources departments that you can submit complaints or go to if you have any issues come up or conflicts come up in the office. And of course, Red Robin is no different. So you are just talking to all the witnesses, gathering and evaluating the data and making a decision on how to move forward. So ensuring a fair and consistent approach to disciplinary recommendations and actions are taken. So you're reviewing and acting upon all of these requests and complaints that come in through their ticket management system, but then you're going to partner with different restaurant managers and leadership through email, phone, messaging, and video conferencing, just talking out the situation and making sure that everything is followed up on. 
Now for this one, they do prefer a bachelor degree in human resources or some kind of related discipline. While it doesn't say it's required, if someone applies to this job who has one, it is a preference of theirs and those people will get the top spots for the interviews before moving on to people who don't have degrees. They are looking for somebody who's worked two to four years in a human resources type role before. They want somebody who can coach peers and be helpful. So someone who just has those personable people skills. You've got to have strong leadership skills and have great communication skills. But pay is anywhere from $64,100 a year up to $88,100 a year. $88,000 a year would be $42 an hour. Now, next up, we have the company Maximus Hiring. Maximus has 5,300 reviews on Glassdoor with an overall employee satisfaction rating of 3.4 out of 5 stars. Please note, though, Glassdoor does say that they have evidence that somebody has taken steps to artificially inflate the rating. So this 3.4 rating may be higher than it really should be. Just know that going in. So if you're interested in the Maximus job, please come to their Glassdoor page, and I urge you to to read all reviews on the company and to make an informed decision for yourself. But nonetheless, Maximus is hiring an accounts payable specialist. This is going to be remote for the United States. And they are looking for somebody to basically be responsible for their accounts payable general ledger, preparing various accounting statements and financial reports and documents. So you're going to assist with unified, unidentified payment issues regarding invoices. You're preparing, processing, and delivering these invoices and payments accordingly. And then you're just researching a payments or payment objectives. Maybe somebody says my invoice isn't correct. You're going to have to research the information to find out if it is correct or not. You're just performing all the research into any returned mail or correspondence in a timely manner. And you're gathering like purchase orders, char slips, sales tickets, preparing all the payments, transaction records, anything like that. So you're basically handling all of the money part of the system. So all of the invoices going out and the payments coming in for those invoices as well. Now they don't require any kind of college degree for this, just a high school diploma and then two to four years of experience. And it just says relevant experience. So I would assume that would mean some kind of a financial experience. Of course, you have to have great communication skills and you've got to be familiar with basic accounting practices and principles, great attention to detail. Pay is listed all the way down at the bottom. It is anywhere from $19 an hour up to $21 an hour. Now, next up, we have Access Credit Union hiring. Please note, Access Credit Union only has 15 reviews from past and current employees on Glassdoor. So I always urge you, do your own additional research on any companies before giving them your personal information. Out of those 15 reviews, though, they have a 3.7 out of 5 star employee satisfaction rating. They are looking for an administrative support remote position. Now the applications close on August 21st. So they are taking applications for like the next two weeks. Starting salary is $39,390 a year, but they're basically looking for somebody to help do administrative support work for their members responding to inquiries and promoting products and services of the credit union. So you're providing administrative support to their business loan department. You'll prepare bank confirmations, complete credit checks for the loan department on the members. Maybe members come or go in to an office or maybe they even call in on the phone or they go online into their account and they apply for a new loan. The loan department will send the customer's information to you to perform the credit check and get all that basically paperwork together and you send it back to the loan office and the loan office can then read through the paperwork and make their decision. So you are basically their assistant for the loan department doing all the paperwork piece of it. So you'll help calculate and post corrections and adjustments in the member's account and the system. Best part about this, they only require, I don't know why they say it, like this grade 12 diploma, so a high school diploma or GD. Now, if you have some kind of business administrative or post-secondary education, they say they consider that an asset. It's not required though. You do have to have customer service experience and experience dealing with financial statements basic understanding of account opening, credit granting functions, so basic understanding of how banking works. 
And another human resources position we have is from well-known real estate company, Zillow. Zillow has 2,100 reviews on Glassdoor with an overall employee satisfaction rating of 3.8 out of 5 stars. They are looking for an employee relations investigator. So this is kind of almost the same thing as the Red Robin job. You are going to be investigating workplace issues and workplace complaints. So they are looking for somebody to work with their legal and compliance department, demonstrating an understanding of different employment laws, regulations, concepts, and partnering with the human resources team, just leading prompt and fair and timely investigations of employees relations issues. So these might be, you might have to take meetings, do background research, do interviews with the employees again to investigate what is really going on, collecting that information. You might have to have meetings with the partnership and leaders as well. You will remain respectful, empathetic, and fair and diplomatic while you're doing these investigations, just coming to, again, a determination of what happens and how the corrective action or whatever unfolds from there. Pay for this position again. Human resources positions pay very high. Pay starts at $80,900 a year, goes up to $129,200 a year. And Zillow does not require any kind of a college degree, just somebody who has five years of experience work in employee relations, human resources, or a workplace investigator. They want somebody who can organize and track projects and investigations, so somebody who can be a multitasker, someone who has great communication skills, and somebody who has the ability to anticipate and identify legal issues before they happen, trying to keep Zillow out of lawsuits and things like that. So you have to have great organization and great attention to detail. All right, if you've made it to the end of this video through all of my rambling, I owe you a huge thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for watching and supporting me. As always, feel free to leave in the comments anything specific that you're looking for. I can never make any promises. I do read those and keep that in mind, though. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like button if you enjoyed it. Share with all your friends and family. And of course, I'll be back really, really soon with more work from Home Job Leads just for you.